Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to American Truck Simulator, where today I've got a Peterbilt 389, because I forgot it was in the game the last time I played. Uh, we're already on a job, because I picked it up and then had to run off, unfortunately, so we haven't even picked up the trailer yet, that's how early in the job we are. We're taking some machine parts, for, parts from Las Vegas, Nevada to Flagstaff, Arizona. It's not that long a drive, but... The game has been rescaled since. Um, so let's get our truck on the move. And of course, me being me, it's like 1 a.m. in the game. Just need to move a thing so that I don't knock it because it's made of glass. And uh, I don't exactly want chattered glass all over my bedroom floor, thank you very much. There we go. How are we lined up? I can't see, so we'll have to kind of guess this a bit. <coughs> I do have a bit of a frog in my throat today, so I do apologize. I'm still a bit stuffy as well, probably. Um, not completely over the cold yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, still got a bit of a residual cough as well, which sucks. <coughs> um, so, for those of you who watch this, these videos, the morning videos, you get an announcement. For those of you who don't, you'll find out later today. Well, for those of you who don't, you're not watching, are you? Um, starting today... I'm going back to daily streams um, of farm sim. So the farm sim videos will all pretty much stop. They'll all be replaced by streams. Uh, the only videos that will continue will be uh, the multiplayer videos. Because a lot of you guys have been asking for streams and I've been listening so we're gonna return to daily streams again. Out of here safely, I'm out of here safely, lovely. I gotta. I really shouldn't have put the fo the uh, the really pointy, huge sun visor on that I did, but it's a bit late to be complaining about that. And me being me, the truck is, of course, three different colors of pink. But uh, this is the rescaled open beta for ATS. So, the uh, map is significantly larger. I've seen a picture. And uh, basically, the old map can fit inside the new California pretty easily. So, while this is a relatively short job in terms of the map, uh, Oh yeah, that was totally my fault. Well, it's a pretty short job in terms of the map. In terms of the rescale, it's pretty much driving the length of California, I believe. Come on, drive on. Good lord. Somebody beside me because I want to scoot over into this lane. Go sixth gear. We'll just cruise along, uh, guzzling fuel like there's no tomorrow. Three eight nine. I am using a big Cummins engine in this, by the way. So <coughs> I am using a big Cummins engine, so um, it's not exactly great for fuel consumption. Hopefully, we'll get. Uh, fuel economy of about four miles to the gallon. That's what I'm aiming for.
And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't mean we need to drive. The, the route that we have to take means we are driving pretty much the entire way through Vegas. Um, the reason we're in Vegas is because that's where my main yard is, and I had to buy the truck. Luckily, we're turning right here, which means we can just ignore the red light. Let's take off the uh, virtual GPS, because we don't need it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I use the virtual GPS before videos to make sure I've got all the fuel and, and rest that I need. <coughs> and it's a... Uh, whoa, red light. It's just a convenience thing more than anything else. First gear, let's see, can I see the lights? Oh, is that a light for us as well? I hope so, because I can't see down. I'm hoping that's a light for this site. Yes, it is. So I am just using the uh, speedometer in the truck. I've changed the retro wheel because this is a retro looking truck. And uh, yeah, I've pretty much decked this thing out with as much as I could get into it. <laughs> Money wasn't exactly an object when I was uh, decking this thing out. Let's get up to 70, 80 miles an hour. California is going to be really fun now. Um, because 55 miles an hour is very slow. That is in no way ideal. Trying to keep an eye on everything at once, and it's not the easiest job. Uh, we are, however, creeping towards that four miles a gallon I'd like. Uh, how are we doing for fuel? Is that the fuel gauge? What's the fuel gauge? Oh, that's the fuel gauge there, okay. So the fuel gauge is... If you look at the, the top point on the steering wheel, it's there. Apparently I've just unlocked an achievement called Powell's Trail, which is nice. I've got to be careful of the uh, outer lane traffic. Speed limit's now 75 for some reason. Presumably it's a different state thing. Can I see what my cruise control is set to, please, game? Uh, do I have a cruise control set? I do not have a cruise control set. There we go, 75 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, let's go for the trip economy. So we're at 4.2, 4.3 miles again. We're actually gaining fuel economy as we drive along. Because we're in a good, we're in a good gear at the moment. Eighth high. Uh, also known as the maximum gearing this truck allows. And all we really need to do is just cruise our way over towards Flagstaff uh, at 75. Hopefully this is going to be a relatively long route and we can make it into daytime. Is there a clock anywhere? There is There is no clock. Uh, it is currently 3.07 in the morning. So we're making good time. We've got uh, basically 2,000 miles of fuel remaining. Oil and water temperatures look good. And our fuel is quite good as well. Our, yeah, our speed is quite good, I should say. So let's just keep an eye on that fuel economy. Keep it as, uh, as close to five miles to the gallon as we can get it. Four and a half is good. 
And it looks like we will actually hit five miles a gallon because it's a relatively hilly trail. I really should have slept twice to get it to... Uh, I did rest, didn't I? Yes, I did. To get it to be daytime um, for this trip, but didn't think that, that far ahead, unfortunately. Uh, way station a mile. So we got to pull into this way station. Speed limit through here is 35. Now 15. Tap the scale, activate the icon. There we go. And off we go once again. Speed limit of 55. That's actually, actually, that's convenient. Speed limit of 35 is not so convenient. Speed limit of 25 is even less convenient. There we go, 25 ish. Just because they're inconveniencing me. It's woken the entire town up. Oh man, I hate these intersections where it's doubling up and two sets of lights and it's always gonna be two reds. Come on! Come on, I'm gonna honk all my horns as you move. go into a 65 now which is lovely choose all the gears why not Center the tracking real quick. I thought I was slightly off with the track where the head tracking was. We're heading into Kingman. Isn't this where we're going? Oh no. No, we're going to Flagstaff. I need to get into the other lane, like now. Sorry, sir, but you're in, in the way of a very important delivery of whatever it is we're delivering, because I can't remember. Speed limit 75. That's really convenient because we're going downhill. There's 75 on the limiter. Or it should be. Uh, cruise control set at 74. That'll do. So it should be dawn relatively soon. It is. What time is it? 4 40 in the morning. Yeah, we should see dawn relatively soon. As we overtake this car, I don't know what to, what 
got a maker model it looks like. It looks kind of like a Prius, but I know it's not. Very many complains, it's not a Prius, it's a Dodge Charger. I know it's not a Prius. It just looks a bit like one. So we've used an eighth of a tank of fuel already <laughs> on this one journey. Uh, although our fuel economy is now creeping towards five miles to the gallon once again, which is always nice. So we kind of skirt around this truck. We're what, 4.6 miles to the gallon? That's nice. That truck behind us now? Yes, it is. We can scoot in. Just let the truck do its trucky things with the cruise control. As there is light on the horizon. Dawn is beginning to break. There is light on the horizon. The truck is starting to bog down because we're going uphill and we don't quite have the momentum we needed to keep up to 75 miles an hour. Which means... <clears throat> it's time for me to take over manual control of gearing again. And you'll notice that every road is um, currently marked as undiscovered. That's because of the rescale. Um, that changed a lot of stuff. So all the roads are marked as undiscovered because they're all technically new roads. Uh, this is the same save game I've been using since the start of ATS, in fact. And uh, there was a period when I had about. 90% of the map discovered. It's gone down to zero. It went down to zero when the rescale happened, which is a shame, but uh, you know, that happens. Just kind of being careful around the other traffic. This Cummins engine sounds beautiful, though. And that sunrise is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Over the, um, it's not the Great Plains even. This is it's just a flat area. <coughs> I'm not looking forward to the uh, the Great Plains being added to the game. <laughs> it's going to be a very dull place to drive through, I think, where everything is just going to be flat. Um. But, you know, you can't have beautiful scenery and beautiful mountains everywhere. Is the sun starting to peak over the, uh, the ridge line over there? Well, not right now it's not, because there's a big luminel in the way. The sun should start peaking out fairly soon. We're at 4.9 miles a gallon on fuel economy, so we're doing well. It won't be too long until we don't need the lights anymore. And we can move to our day running lights. Um, speed limit is now 75. Which means I can take over gearing and throttle again. There's the sun. It's starting to peak over the horizon ever so slightly. over the top of that hill over there. So we've driven pretty much through the night. We're still going strong on our way to Flagstaff. There are machinery parts, I want to say. We still do have the trailer, which is always a good thing to check for. Because I know occasionally people do tend to uh, drop the trailer and forget about it. Whoops. Drop into low gear here and just let the revs pull us up. There we go. And set cruise control. Except we're pulling off here because we're coming up to Flagstaff. This says a 75 mile an hour speed limit. And 
this is going to be a prime opportunity to take a screenshot for the thumbnail. So this is going to be terrible when I come out of this, but uh, let's get a nice screenshot for the thumbnail. So let's get our field of view the way we like it. There's our truck. Uh, let's see. That's really nice. Let's move the focusing plane so our truck's actually focused. Blur transition depth doesn't really matter too much. Blur strength can go down a bit. Saturation can go about there. Let's tilt it this way today. And we'll capture that as a screenshot. Beautiful. So now we need to... There we go. Zero problems. Zero problems caused there. Five limit down to thirty five. A few frame rate issues because of the traffic. Twenty five limit, and we're turning left in a moment. So, in here we go. We just need to wait for this uh, little band of traffic to pass us. And we are pulling in. Where are we pulling in? Are we supposed to pull in there? No, up here. That bitumen. Where's our parking spot then? There's our parking spot. Looks like we might just have to blow inside the zin. I'm gonna kind of drive by. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun spot to park in. This is gonna be a real fun park spot to park in. because it's primarily going to be blindsiding. <coughs> Let's see how we do. I can't even see the parking spot from here. I don't know how well or how badly I'm doing, I'm just kind of guessing what I'm doing at the moment. I'm hitting stuff, which might be good. No, it's not, because I was parking into the wrong bay entirely. So let's get this somewhat straightened up, there we go. Start turning it in now. And hopefully, ooh, 
Hopefully we can get this into a position where I can actually see what I'm doing. That might just be the positioning I need. Can we get a better view? There's the space. Nope. So I'm just going to use the mirrors to back in here, which, while not ideal, is pretty much the only option open to me at the moment. That is far from straight. The length of the truck is actually hurting me slightly, because I don't know if I can actually park this straight enough. If I can get it somewhat in, that'd be great. Or even if I can do this. I'm going to kind of shimmy it in and hope for the best. At a very, very, very low speed. Okay, so I can't go any further there. I know this isn't the greatest parking job in the world, but it'll have to do because this truck is extremely long and the parking space is extremely far back in here. What am I even hitting? Oh, I'm... Okay. That's even more problems for me to contend with. That looks good to me now. If I can get back a bit farther. Or if I can shimmy it forwards even. All right, let's see if we can get it in this time. Like getting stuck on something. This looks good, this looks good, this looks good. Give me the tea, give me the tea, give me the tea. Tea. Parking brake on, engine off, and disconnect the trailer. Oh boy, that took a while. Five hours, 24 minutes, or half an hour in real time, good lord. Uh, $13,742 and 631 experience points. So that's going to do it for today, I think. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, do hit that like button. If you're new here and you want to see more ATS or even some farm sim or uh, what's the other game? <laughs> Transport Fever. Transport Fever, uh, even. Uh, do feel free to subscribe. There's new videos daily. And as of today, daily streams. Uh, except Mondays. Mondays, there'll only be a video in the morning because... I need a day off too. <laughs> I'm not going to stream seven days a week, I'm afraid. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching American Truck Simulator with the rescale in place. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.